Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome to a casted game in the random deck tournament. So this is round two, and this is between Widgey spawning in the right-hand side of the map and Crispy spawning in the left-hand side of the map. So this is the random deck tournament, which basically means all of their decks have been randomly generated. So they have had time to uh, practice with this deck, which we cannot currently see, but we will be able to take a look in a second once they have selected it. But you get some really interesting strategies because they have to work around what they've got in the deck. So, yeah, we'll see in a second. But uh, Widgey here, starting off with the Community Plaza. Got a couple idle vills, which he does get uh, working now. Uh, but Crispy over here also looks like it's the uh, normal start. Building livestock pen, of course, which you get free with your start. Building your granary and then um, doing a bit of herding. So, Widgie has got his warrior priest on his plaza, getting him a little bit of XP while also training some villagers and an eagle scout. Interesting, interesting. So, you don't see this very often, but he's training a second eagle scout. Hmm, interesting. Um, so, um, Crispy not really using his Hello. explorer much. With the, uh, the fast speed on this guy, you want to be really getting him around the map, seeing what's up. But it looks like Crispy is doing a 10 10 here with Ethiopia, while uh, Widgie is doing something else, it seems. Let's see what, what cards he's got in his deck. So he's got a shipment here, he hasn't used it yet though. He needs to use this. Unless he's got nothing in age one he's planning to send. Let's see if uh, Crispy's got anything selected. So he has a shipment as well. Uh, it still has not selected a deck. What's up with these two? They both have cards that they can send. Ah, here we go. Widgey has finally selected his deck. And he's going up with three villagers. So this is a very lucky card for him to get. So this is a completely randomly generated deck, and he's managed to get three villagers in age one. That is huge. He's got some pretty good age two cards as well. He's got uh, five villagers, four villagers, wood, uh, quite a few unit cards there as well. He's got uh, the native treaties card, so he, he might be going native, maybe, we'll see. But got a second card in already. Let's have a look at what uh, Crispy's doing. So no card yet from him. But he is, uh, he's now aging up with the Sudanese. Um, so, uh, which he's still quite a way off aging up. Uh, training more villagers. He's got another card still. Uh, not sure if there's anything good to send here. But this looks like it's going to be an aggressive uh, rush coming from Crispy, that's for sure. So, still no card sent, which is very surprising. Maybe he's just got no good at cards in age one. We will find out. But, um. Widgy, still no one here aging up. This could be a very, very fast game if, um, Crispy has a good rush on him. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. So here's, uh, Crispy taking this treasure. And also taking a trading post. Interesting, interesting. That's quite a surprise. Uh, you don't, you don't often uh, see that. I thought, you know, this could be invested into a uh, a war camp or something up here. But I guess this is kind of like a Portugal play. If you've got uh, ATP, but no deck selected, so. Whereas Widgie over here, he's gonna have two shipments stacked up. Finally aging up, he's old, aging up with the Eldar, which I do believe gives him a, uh, I think it's a Warheart. So there's, he's got two shipments saved, whereas uh, Crispy also got two shipments saved. I guess he's just going to use them both in age two. Uh, so there's the age up. He gets the native embassy builder, he gets the mountain monastery builder, and finally we can have a look at his deck. So immediately sending in Big Benny and six Gascania. Interesting. So he did have some age one cards, but 
I guess they're not very good ones to the point where he didn't actually want to send anything and just save them all for age two. So he's this isn't the best of decks, it seems. He's got a he's got Big Benny, he's got a couple wood he's got a wood crate and a food crate. He's got the uh the fort. Hmm, interesting. It'd be interesting to see what he can do with that. But now building some uh Sudanais out of the um the native embassy. But let's have a look at what Widgie's up to. Almost aged up now. And um it's got quite a bit of wood. So maybe Widgie's planning for a bit of a rush. A bit of a lighter rush, that's for sure. But uh it'll be interesting to see what Crispy can do. So Crispy is aged up already and he's got Sudanese, he's got um some Gascania being shipped in and being made. So I feel like Widgie's rush could be shut down quite easily here. But we'll see, we'll see. Because Widgie at the moment does have a massive advantage in villagers. Because Crispy is only on 10 villagers. And not training anymore actually. So this must be an all-in rush. Whereas um, Widgie has 15 villagers. And he's sending in two cards. Interesting, interesting. So here's Widgie's forward base. Uh, While well, Crispy has two trading posts and 10 villagers. So, I'm not sure if this is a smart move. Two trading posts, sure. But if you're going an all-in to the point where you're not that... making any villagers, surely you could just invest this into, like, materials. Uh, get out full batches of uh, Gascania. Get out more Sudanese. But we'll see. He could even go for another... What's this? The Berbers. No, he could go for the Berbers or maybe the Sudanese. Um, but we, I might be completely wrong here. Because he has still got quite a mass. But then uh, so does Widgie. Widgie's going to have a quite, a, quite a big of a mass in a, in a minute. He's got some Coyote Runners on the way. He's got some Slingers on the way. So Widgie just slowly making his way forwards. Going to go try take this trading post, it seems. Um, let's see if Crispy's made any more. Oh, he's still on 10 villagers. That hurts. That's that's not good at all. But he's on 11 now, it seems. He's built a villager, yes. Okay, but uh, now Widgie's looking like he's got quite a mass here. That's going to be able to take care of the uh, the Gascania. Just get the uh, Coyote Runners out of the, out of the way and just get the uh, Slingers shooting them down. Widgie just backing off a little bit now. So Widgie definitely has the economy lead because uh, sure, Crispy has two trading posts, but uh, let's see how many villagers. Still, still, Twelve villagers. I mean, mm, it's hard to see, but uh, I'm not sure if this is a smart move by Crispy. He's got a mass. He should use it now. Because right now, I think he could take this down. Actually, no. He's got the slingers coming in, which he does. So, I feel like if you're being this all-in, you've got to push. You've either got to push now or not go all-in. Because his village account's looking real low. But he's building a second war camp. So, he's going to be able to get out, well, hopefully double batches. But we'll see. Because his economy's not looking too great. But uh, just trying more Gascania, it seems. Uh, which mm, you might want to build some raiders, especially against the massive uh, slingers which he has. But, oh, this is this is a it's hard to see who's going to win here because the Gascania are pretty powerful, but I do feel like the slingers are going to be uh, more powerful here. It seems like it's a close one. Both of them trading pretty equally right there. So, Widgie does have the uh, the Coyote Runners onto the back of these dervishes. And it does seem like Widgie has uh, picked up a, a nice little trade there. Now, this is especially good for Widgie because he does have the economy advantage. Speaking of which... There it is. It's alright. It's alright. We've got the villagers back in queue. Good job, Widgie. Uh, whereas Crispy has dogs. also forgotten about villagers and he's only on 13 still. So, I mean, 
Widgey probably could be training up some, uh, some, oh, he's getting the shipment of uh, Puma. This is going to help out because he's going to be able to take down these trading posts, which is a big part of um, Crispy's economy is getting those shipments in. Because, I mean, he yeah, doesn't have great shipments, but he does have, like, the, the food. Mm. Okay, yeah, there's not, there's not a whole lot that he can get, but... He's sending in the fort now, which is going to help him. If he can get this down right here, um, Crispy is going to be able to hold these two TPs. Or at least this one. But it seems like it's a little bit late for that. Because Widgie is now moving in. He's still making villages, which is good. He's got more uh, coyote runners on the way. Something I've noticed about uh, Widgie is that he loves these coyote runners. For no reason. Like, at the moment... Uh, Crispy doesn't really have a, the composition for Coyote Runners to really do much, unless he goes for a bit of a raid. But at the moment, I think Widgie just needs to go pure Slinger and a few Puma Spin, just in case of a raid, uh, Raider switch. But even then, Raiders are not that powerful. They can be uh, easily killed with just a few Spin. But let's see what Crispy's up to. Now he's starting to push forwards a little bit. He's got some uh, Shocker Warriors and some Sudanese Dervishes on the way. So, would you really not having... He needs to mass up these Slingers. He needs to have a massive Slingers, which can just shoot down all of these Gascania. Because at the moment, the Gascania are very powerful. Um, let's have a look at their... Yeah, so they've got four times multiply against Cavalry. Which is just nuts. That, that shouldn't be a thing. But it is. So going Coyote Runners against um, African Civs is, isn't really a smart move, to be honest. But we do see Shockle Warriors trying to run at Widgie. These things are absolute beasts um, when, when if they get up up close. So I'm pretty sure these are like uh, Chimney Runners. So they're going to be they're going to be good against the Slingers, that's for sure. So that's uh, another reason to get some more Puma. But Widgie now does have a second Warheart. So this is very good. Let's have a look at his village account. Widgie on 27 villagers, which is very, very good. The Coyote Runners and Puma just taking a couple Shuffle Warriors right there. So Crispy manages to... Both of them seem to back off for some reason. Interesting. Okay. So uh, Crispy on 16 villagers. Widgie over... 10 villagers, 11 villagers in front of Crispy, which is very impressive. He's also got the Warrior Priest, giving him that little bit of XP. And uh, Crispy does only have one TP now. So now Crispy's just going to be able to siege a bit of this um, Warheart. This is be bad if uh, Widgie does lose this. He, does, he needs this, really. So Widgie, is he going to lose it? Oh, the shot! Oh, sorry. Um, the shot warriors are able to get onto the slingers. Okay, well, Wedgie did lose quite a few there, but um, okay, quite didn't even trade it seems. Crispy kind of just backing off a little bit. He he needs to. Uh, this is looking pretty good for Wedgie now, because uh, he's just got these slingers left that are going to be able to deal with these Cascania. But, uh, Widgie doing a very good job this game with villagers. If you don't know, Widgie's a, Widgie's a little bit, uh, little bit, um, bad with the villager building sometimes. Sometimes he'll go, like, a full ten minutes without making a single villager. But not, not, not this case, so that's good. Uh, Crispy on 18 villagers with still some in queue, which is very good to see. He's got some villagers on berries for some reason. He has all this map control down here. Um, for some reason, built the fort up here. Probably could have done with this down here or down here. But he needs to get these villagers out onto these um, these hunts. See, he, he has these secured. But a nice mass of slingers um, for Widgie right here. Still building more coyote runners for some reason. No clue why. Maybe I'm missing something here with the coyote runners. But... Um, Personally, I would just be going Slingers and Puma. But we'll see why. I'm sure Widgie has thought about this very carefully, what he's going to make. 
But he does have a spare shipment. But it doesn't seem like... Yeah, there's not a whole lot of uh, good stuff here. He could send in this. Team Silversmith. He gathers a uh, coin a little bit faster. But, um... I guess he might be saving it for an age up. Crispy also saving a, a shipment. Oh, no, never mind. Um, so he's sending in beekeepers. That's a very good card. Okay, so increases uh, gather rate on all food by 15%. That's very good. Uh, so would you now on 35 villagers compared to uh, Crispy's 21? So even more of a villager lead now for Widgey. But yeah, we still see the African Civ keeping up with um, the Aztecs in score. Just shows how powerful these African Civs are. But uh, it's a good thing Crispy didn't go Hauser, that's for sure. So this game would have been well ended. Um, Hauser is just stupid at the moment. But now we see uh, Widgey moving in. He needs to make sure that these uh, dervishes, not dervishes, shuttle warriors don't get onto his slingers. So to be honest at this point, um, if I was Widgey, I would be thinking about aging maybe. Because he's got no more uh, shipments. Let's see what he's got in age 3. Hmm. He's got uh, Prowl, Prowl Knights. Jaguar Prowl Knights. They might be quite good. But now finally sending in Team Silversmith. Just going to increase his mining a little bit. Might even help him age up a little bit. Um, but if I were Widgey, I would send these guys off oh, down here. Um, and sort of do some raiding. But it seems like he he might be doing that. Or he might be going to uh, burn down this training post. Let's see. He's doing one or the other. Might be able to take off a villager here as well. It seems like he's going for the training post at the moment. But now we see uh, Crispy just building more of a mass, building some abens as well to gather, gather some gold a little bit faster. So Widgey doing a very good job here, just keeping Crispy back. Um, but he needs to be careful of these guys. This could be very bad for Widgey, he needs to be careful here. He needs to be very careful here. Get get the Puma Spearman on these guys. Hmm. Uh oh, this is not going to be good for the Coyote Runners either. Oh, just look at that um, Gascania damage right there. Getting onto the Gascania. Getting onto the Coyote Runners, sorry. I think one Gascania there for five Coyote Runners. That's just how insane they are. But would he managing to hold some of the slinger mass right here? Um, but he needs to he needs to get these slingers onto these guys. That's for sure. So let's have a look at quick villager villager count. Um, Crispy's forgotten to make villagers again, sitting on twenty three villagers compared to Widgie's thirty six, who's also forgotten to make villagers. It looks like another cleanup for Widgie. Um, which is very good. Um, very good for Widgie, that's for sure. Because he has got the eco advantage. So what Crispy really needs to do is just sort of push forward and take take down all of this. He needs to make sure Widgie doesn't have any map control. Um, but it seems like Crispy's having a bit of a struggle with that. So now sending in Brock Church. Okay. So it just uh, increases mountain monastery uh, gather rate, it seems, and it yield. So he's going to be able to get more gold from this, even though he's not gathering too much gold, it seems. But I guess he's got nothing else to send, really. Um, but now we have Widgey pushing forwards yet again. He needs to be careful here, because these guys in uh, close combat are decent. Widgey, for some reason, falling back again. So, Widgey needs to take this training post. It's helping him a lot because uh, this this is actually making Crispy influence, um, which, gonna, which means uh, Crispy can get some very powerful units from this uh, this fort. 
So maybe uh, Crispy's thinking about aging up. He doesn't have Mortar in deck, which is a shame. Um, so that could be game changing right there, especially against against Aztec. Uh, Mortar plus Gascania. Pretty sure that would mean no win for him. But uh, a bit of lag here for some reason. Would you building villagers again? Good to see. The same for Crispy. So, I mean, Wiggy, Wiggy looks like he's in a good position here, but Crispy is still there with the score. They're, they're four points away at the moment. So, uh, this is it's pretty crazy how, because um, Wiggy's way ahead in villagers, and uh, Crispy does only have one TP building a second one. But it's just the African Civs, they're just way too overpowered. Crispy even has two idle villagers. Um, Widgey almost on 40 villagers now. This is insane. He's a whole 15 villagers ahead. And also has this massive mass. Just crazy how the African Civ can hold. Widgey is taking the score lead finally by about a thousand. And he's still on the on the, uh, the war dance. He probably could have this on XP or something while he waits. But... Um, he has only got one uh, warrior priest, so not not a big deal. But so finally, the second trading post getting back up for crispy. Now he probably could. Um, speaking of which, Widgie's building his first trading post. Okay, I was just about to say how crispy could probably uh, build another trading post up here, but it does seem like Widgie has taken the. Um, the other side of the TP line. Okay, so that's gonna gonna, gonna help him out with some XP. I'm not sure what he's gonna use it for exactly because he hasn't got a lot to send. But maybe if he works towards an, a bit of an age up, he can. Um, he'll be able to send in. Let's have a look at his age three cards. So I feel like these guys here are gonna be very powerful, or maybe the um, twelve slingers, covered wagon maybe. Widgie finally making another move with a massive, massive uh, Puma Spearman this time. Going to be able to take down this trading post yet again. So, uh, still, a, still a large mass for uh, Crispy, that's for sure. Um, these shuttle warriors can do some real damage if uh, Widgie's not careful. Trading post does get taken down. And... Um, which are just making a bit of a retreat again, it seems. So these guys do have range resistance, the shock warriors. Um, and they have a bonus damage against infantry. So I guess coyote runners would be good against these guys. But, um... Widgie needs to be careful here. He's in a good position. Oh, he's really going to catch these guys off guard. Good job by Widgie. He needs to get these slingers onto these guys, though. Uh, let's see if... So, Widgie does have more reinforcements of Puma Spearman on the way, which is very good. And this seems like it's a bit of a clean-up. Crispy finally um, getting his mass taken away while Widgie has his remaining, even though he has three shipments spare. But it all comes down to that villager. Widgie on 41 villagers compared to Crispy's 25. Makes all the difference. And Widgie really just cleaning them up now. That's a real clean up. So uh, I think uh, Widgie just needs to keep up the Puma Spearman. So he can take down this fort. But I don't think there's much uh, Crispy can do from now. I guess um, you, know, you might want to move away these villagers. But his best bet is probably the uh, the shot of Warriors. So uh, yeah. Crispy, if Crispy had a large mass of villagers right now, um, he could probably build a second town center, to send some shipments or something. But at this point, I don't think there's a lot he can do. Um, he doesn't have the economy, he doesn't have the mass. He's no longer going to have the fort. He's going to lose some villagers here as well. Yeah, this. 
I'm sorry to say this, Crispy, but I'm pretty sure this is game right here. Which he does carry on making villagers, which is very good to see. Probably could change this over to a to war dance or maybe siege siege dance if that's the thing for Aztec. Might only be Inca, but um, yeah, Crispy has no no mass now. Trying to run away with these guys. Yeah, Fourteen villagers for Crispy. Finally calling the GG. Well played. Very well played to them both. So it really does all come down to villagers right at the start. I think if Crispy did pressure a little bit more at the beginning with that mass he had before Widgie was able to build a mass of his own with Slingers, and that game could have been very, very different. But yeah, if you do, if you did enjoy this game, um, then please do feel free to leave a like, and I will catch you in the next game.